Hey there, so you're wondering how to flatten an array, but your array has a bunch of, uh, bunch of uh, collections, right? So I got the answer, I tried a few things and it works perfectly, all right? So what do we do? You actually cannot use the flatten, uh, flatten array when it has collections, so let's try that, I'll show you. So for example, here I have a flow, I'm getting a bunch of reviews uh, from Glassdoor, and then these reviews are so many bundles and then what I want to do I want to turn those bundles into yeah just one array with uh, different positions and now what I want to do is because I want to I want to basically feed this in because it's like a bunch of reviews I want to feed everything into my uh, chat GPT or what have you so if I just feed it array position one then it just has that review so i want to basically make a long text with everything in one and if i show you now if we set a variable variable so let's say we take we just call it uh flatten and then we do the flatten function flatten array yeah and then, that, by the way, this is another thing. When you do use flatten, even though in the formula, as you can see, uh, it, it has like a comma, you cannot use a comma. You have to use this just as a, if you don't put anything after the semicolon, then it's usually one. But let's just try this to see what you get, yeah? So if you run this, so what I want ideally is basically getting all of this here yeah so not one two two fifty it should just be like cons 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 like it should go one level back but it does not do that so yeah basically we get the same results as before okay so what's the issue i think the issue is when you have collections inside an array yeah then it's cannot really flatten it as usual because it's collections it's not an array flatten just works with arrays so what you can do instead is this you basically and this is thanks to our friend here what's his name alex newpath and this was amazing i'm gonna give him a like so he said you can actually use the map function and the set multiple variables think about that we can map multiple variables and then we can merge everything together. So this is what how it's going to look like, actually. So if we start here, we set the cons values. So cons, pros, we want to map this separately. So from this whole array, sorry, from, from this whole array, we want to get all of the cons from each of the collections, yeah? So what we do is you just put cons and then you map. So what is a map? Remember this, as Nick said, from array, I need this written in text. And then if you want to filter, you can do where X is equals to Y. Yeah, so these are the filtering options, but we're not going to filter now because I just want all of the cons. So then I just copy this and then I do same for pros and you can see the actual raw name which is important because you need to put the raw name you cannot just like here you cannot put this this is not this is not the right one so okay so when we do that if we're gonna run this now you'll see that we get four arrays and now it looks correct so we just have all of the cons in a row and then we have all of the pros in a row but now I want to flatten this, yeah? And as I cannot flatten the bundle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually merge all of these arrays into one array, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you. So you take the merge function and then you give it the array number one, two, three, four, etc. So we just take merge and then we take that, 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 and that. The company I don't need. So now what you're going to have, you're going to have exactly what I wanted to have from the beginning. So you have all of these inputs. Basically, most of it on the top is going to be the cons, and then you're going to have the pros somewhere, 
and it doesn't matter for me in my case because the chat uh, GPT will understand which ones are cons and pros so I just want to feed it like one array with all of the data and then it should understand how many times something was mentioned all right I hope that helps you and uh, if it does smash that like button join our reddit group I'm gonna put the link below we're gonna grow that and uh, what else yeah watch this other video and uh, enjoy have a good day bye